Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing your love reading for the month of January. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, so make sure to listen to all your placements. Um, if you want a personal reading, a link is in the description box and in the comments. Um, I also do spell work. So let's see, Spirit Guides, what can, oh there's one. What can Scorpio expect in love in the month of January? Ooh, <laughs> okay. So Scorpio, you got to let go of your ex here. By the way, these cards are in German, if you're wondering. You got to let go of your ex. The time has come to clear this energy. Hmm interesting yeah so i feel like you a lot of you could have recently gotten out of like a connection or or some kind of um relationship with somebody here and there was unrequited love in this situation like you didn't receive as much love as you were giving okay and this person they just they just they didn't give you what you truly deserved okay and this could make you be feeling unworthy now of love feeling feeling unworthy <laughs> that's interesting yeah you're going through some kind of heartbreak or you have right and it spirit really wants you to let this go it's time to let this go clear this energy out of your life okay just because this person didn't love you enough and didn't give you what you truly deserve doesn't mean nobody will okay you need to stay optimistic when it comes to your love life here, okay? Positive thinking and trusting in the universe is going to bring you luck in your love life, okay? Stay open because your soulmate might differ from your usual type and expectations, okay? They might not be, I don't know, that the typical type of person that you would go for, okay? But that's why spirit really wants you to be open. Let's see. Aren't these cards beautiful? Okay, let's see. Scorpio, what's happening in love for Scorpio? So I feel like this month could really be a month of you healing, purging, and releasing this X energy. You're finding more balance within yourself. Yeah, you've been learning a lot of spiritual lessons through this after this connection um, ended through this separation okay a lot of you have started your spiritual have, have had a spiritual awakening and have started your spiritual journey i see a new passionate beginning here coming into your life with the ace of wands okay but you are a little bit you're still holding back a lot you're not really trusting either you know people new people coming into your life not really trusting the process here there's a need for you to have more faith when it comes to your love life there is passion here coming your way someone that you might be very physically attracted to The wheel of fortune yes change change is coming okay you're you're clearing out old cycles and closing out old cycles in your life in order for new cycles to come this is your justice this is your karma now karma doesn't always mean something bad Car there's also good karma right so good karma is coming your way you've learned your karmic lessons you've learned everything you had to through this separation with this person through this connection Ten of Pentacles, yes, stability, a lot of stability in, in your life in general, but I feel like this person that will come into your life, they're very financially stable, they know what they want, okay, but the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles, that's like long-term commitment potential, right, marriage, higher levels of commitment, ah! sorry, <laughs> the Four of Wands, Hierophant, Four of Wands, wow, a lot of marriage cards here. And I feel like, okay, so a lot of you could really get married to this person one day. Now, if you don't want to get married, I'm not saying you're going to get married right now or in January. Um, okay, but this is like long-term potential. 
and I like that. I love that actually for you. The magician, yes. This is something that you have been manifesting. This is something that is manifesting for you in January and onwards. Okay, timing is fluid. Um, but I feel like this is something exciting. This is something new. Be open to it. Watch out also for the 11 11, um, the synchronicity 11 11. Um, number 11, month of November, stuff like that could be significant, okay? But yeah, this is, you have all the tools to manifest this. You're manifesting miracles in general into your life, but also this, this strong connection with somebody here. Is that the king? Oh, wow, yeah, the king of pentacles. Look at that, an earth sign maybe, earth sign energy. But the hanged man, yeah, things have been stuck and stagnant, right? But it's important that you try and see things from a different perspective. Get out of this stuck energy, okay, when it comes to your love life. Things are progressing slowly, but slow and steady wins the race. And this king of pentacles is someone very mature, someone very stable, someone very traditional. They know what they want, okay? And like I said, it could be somebody that's not your usual type, but there's nothing wrong with that. You need to keep a more optimistic and positive mindset here. That's what spirit really wants you to know. And let go of this X, let go of this negative energy, okay? This, there was unrequited love here. There was an um, imbalance. There was not an equal give and take. <clears throat> we don't want that energy in our lives, okay? You have, oh, yeah, you have two tens here. The Wheel of Fortune is number 10. So 10 could also be a very significant number, but tens indicate completion and endings and cycles coming to a close, okay? Um, and in order for new cycles to start and new chapters in your life to begin, that's what your spirit really wants you to be open to, and, okay? Because you are a bit closed off. You're going to be a bit closed off when this connection comes into your life, but you have a strong soul, soul tie with this person, this twin flame energy, soulmate energy, okay? And highly spiritual connection also with the hero font. Um, you guys are like spiritually connected, telepathically connected. Let's get you some oracle cards. Spirit, what else can you tell me? What else do you want Scorpio to know when it comes to their love life in January? Goddess Hother, I'm probably not saying this correctly, so I'm sorry. Joy, the goddess of joy, I love that. So much happiness and good, good times. You can expect this month, Scorpio, because you're finally clearing this negative energy. You're clearing this energy, these people that have hurt you and upset you, right? Ah! Sorry, <laughs> I'm excited. A fresh start? Look at that. Um, mm, I'm not even going to attempt to say that. Goddess something? The goddess of new beginnings here, okay? And that's literally what I was saying with the Wheel of Fortune. What's funny is that on this symbol is also often on the Hero Font card. So there, there's a lot of spiritual awakening going here, going on here. Like you guys, a lot of you are really um doing a lot of shadow work and working on yourselves. And this new beginning, this French, uh, this French... This first star is coming into your life. Ooh, the goddess of enchantment. I love this. How pretty are these cards, though? Because, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, um, you could feel connected to any of these goddesses if you know them, okay? I know some people are very interested in that and have, feel connections with certain goddesses um, or work with certain goddesses um, or gods, <clears throat> deities, deities. Um, anyways, so like I was saying, there's this whole new beginning coming in here, right? And it's really pushing you towards your growth and um, transformation. You're really going to be feeling so like almost like a new person because you're letting go of this energy that no longer is serving you and these people that are no longer serving you. And it's going to make you feel better within yourself. Like you're going to be glowing and attracting people towards you and into your life. Okay. So I really love this for you, Scorpio. Please let me know if this resonated and helped you. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Personal readings are on my Etsy store down below in the comments. And I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.